coat. Hi there, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Nall, and I teach kindergarten at Matoka Elementary School. One thing that we learn in the fall is how to write our name, and also how to recognize the letters in our name. One way we do that at school is we use magnetic letters. We can mix the letters up, and then we have to try and figure out how to put them back in order. Always start with the big uppercase letter, and then we put the other letters right after it. K-A-T-I-E. One way we can practice this at home if you don't have magnetic letters is you can write the letters of your name on little pieces of paper. You can mix them up, and put them back together just like you would do a puzzle. Hi boys and girls, I'm Mrs. Abrams. I'm also a kindergarten teacher and I'm going to show you another way that we practice how to write our names at school. We practice with a whiteboard and dry erase markers and we sing a little song to help us about where we start the formation of our letters. We always start our letters at the top. We always start our letters at the top always start our letters at the top when i write my letters i'll get better 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 as i always start my letters at the top so you can practice that too at home and mrs turner is going to show you how to do that at home if you don't have a dry erase board and a marker you can also use paper and crayons we like to call this rainbow writing so i'm going to come on this side because i'm right-handed I would start with one color and write my whole name with one color and then to make it rainbow writing I choose a new color and I'm going to write my name again. To practice starting at the top and forming my letters correctly so I can learn how to write my name. Now we'll do another color. You can do it as many colors as you like. These are some ways you can practice learning and writing your name at school and at home. Have fun learning!